parks here in Lake County have such spectacular views. Right now, we're out here looking at Big Creek. It's a very popular area for anglers to come fishing for that steelhead. And as you're looking at the creek right now, you'll notice that it's pretty full of water. It's pretty high right now. Let's do all that rain we've had in the past 24 hours. Anyway, Amber here again. We're at Big Creek at Liberty Hollow, which not only has one mile of Big Creek for you to explore, but also packs in a ton of history. At one time, an iron furnace, a sawmill, and a woolen mill all operated right here on this property. It also has a quarter mile trail that goes down into the floodplain, which is why we're here today. If you remember watching my good friend Tony's video at Hayden Valley just uh, about a week ago, um, he mentioned that we'd be talking about floodplains in a future video. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's head on down the trail and explore some more. As you walk the trail here, you'll notice that Big Creek actually flows on both sides of you. What's interesting is that the creek snakes around the property, creating this U-shape that the trail goes directly down into. This is known as a floodplain. Now, traditionally, floodplains are a flat area of land that occasionally is flooded as excess waters breach the banks of the rivers or the streams that's nearby it. Now, this is a good thing because it allows some excess room for that water to come up, which eliminates some pressures off of man-made structures. Now, floodplains have some other benefits as well. They help remove excess sediments and nutrients from the water, which actually improves water quality and creates biologically diverse habitats, which is the one that you're looking at. It also helps slow the excess flow of water and allows some extra time for waters to seep in the ground and replenish underground water sources. Now, soil types here are often sand, silt, or clay and they support a number of trees and plants that can tolerate excess amounts of water while also holding those soil types in place with their roots which prevents erosion. So let's head down to the trail and explore some of the trees we can find here in floodplains. So we're down here in the floodplain now and I wanted to introduce you to a couple of trees that really like wet deep soils. And one of those trees is the sycamore right here. Now, sycamores are very hardy, large trees. They can grow to be about 80 feet tall. And they're easily distinguished because they have this peely bark that kind of gives it a camouflage look. Now, as that bark peels off, it reveals a bright white bark underneath. So if you're ever driving or walking along a path and you see some big white branches high up in the sky, chances are you're probably very close to a water source. Now, sycamore trees are also easily distinguished because they have these round fruits that actually hang from the tree, and you can see them very clearly in winter and early spring before they drop off. And then I have a sample of their leaf here, which has some lobes um, and looks sort of like a maple leaf. Now, there's another tree down here that I also want to show you that really likes floodplains. This guy right here. Now this is an eastern cottonwood tree and they also can grow to be very tall at about 80 feet. As you can see the bark is heavily furrowed and these trees actually produce a long pendulous looking flower or a stringy looking flower. There's male trees and female trees and if pollen isn't exactly your friend in the spring then you probably won't like the cottonwood. You see the males, they produce an abundant amount of, of pollen, which they release in the spring, obviously to try and get to as many females as they possibly can. Now they also produce these fruits that when they open up, have these fluffy white seeds in them, which is how it gets its name. These seeds kind of look like cotton, so it's the Eastern Cottonwood. Now another feature of this tree is its leaf, which is sort of shaped like a triangle with a rigid edge. Alright, so those are a couple of the trees that you'll commonly find down here in floodplains that love those wet soils and can help take up some of that excess water as the water overflows from the rivers. So thank you for joining us here at Liberty Hollow and uh, I'm going to hike back up the trail so we'll see you again next time, alright?